Now we're going to take a look at the Word Tracker keyword tool. It can be found at freekeywords.wordtracker.com. And when you go there, uh, if this is the first time you've gone there, you will see a screen that asks you to enter a password and sign up for free instant access um, or simply log in if you've already signed up. So I'll log in here. And so um, if you want to keep using the free feature, you can't use this one, which is okay. We'll just close that back up and we'll use the find keywords that include feature right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to type a keyword or a bunch of keywords, one per line in the box here. And we're going to track some keywords. And we have some options on the right. Of course, some are grayed out because those are pay. But the ones that we can use are you can search the word tracker in the US, UK, or global. You will get the UK option once you verify your email address. Underneath that, you have three different options for matching your keywords. And that would be the keywords in any order. If you're familiar with Google's keyword tool, that's known as the broad search. And there's a little explanation here. If you search for tennis shoes, it'll match all tennis shoes, shoes for tennis, and tennis shoes for my birthday. So maybe there will be, might be some things that aren't related exactly to your keyword niche. I, I like to use either the phrase, which is the exact keyword inside a search term. It'll tell you the phrase search. Um, and I also sometimes pay attention to the exact keyword, but usually those are smaller numbers, but it, they're more exact. That's why it's called that. I'm going to stick with the middle one for right now. Underneath that, you have... Uh, you can also include plurals or adult keywords. I'll leave plurals on for right now. I might get some more results from that. So let's type a phrase in here. You want to type in something related to your business. I'm going to type in a, a broad term, online uh, business, okay? Online business. Once I type that in, I'm going to click the search button right here. And Word Tracker is going to think, and it's going to give me some results below this search box. By default, the results start showing you keyword phrases that are related to uh, what I typed in. And then to the right of that, it'll show searches. And that means it'll show you, it, it, by default, it shows you the, the keywords that have the most popular searches, the largest number of searches uh, in order of largest to least. And this is the monthly searches. So what this means is if you put your mouse over the little question mark, it'll actually tell you it's the number of times that the keyword has been searched out of a total of 3.4 billion searches in their database. So this is the amount of time uh, that it's searched. Okay, so what is this phrase? Online business degree college. Okay, so let's remember that. And then let's look at the next uh, metric is what these are called. And this is the competition metric. Now, what does this mean? Well, again, it'll tell you this number is based on the number of pages that have been directly optimized for keywords. So it's, this, is not, this is not the number of pages out there. This is um, based off of the number of pages. And I'll explain that in a little bit more detail in a second. The higher the number, the more this competition exists. So what you want to do is you look, want to look for, it tells you right there, look for keywords with higher search volume and lower competition. So these numbers, you can't really go by specific numbers. You have to use them just kind of relatively and, and use them to get an idea uh, to whether they would be helpful for your business or not. So I get this question a lot where people will say, what's a good number to look for? Well, it, do it doesn't really work that way. Every keyword is different, and you really have to look at all of these metrics. So now it's telling us competition is telling you look for keywords with a high search number like this one's pretty large, 56,000, and low competition. Now, they don't tell you here in the competition thing, but the competition number, if you look at these numbers, see 337, this number is on a scale. It's 1 to 100, okay? So 100 would be a website that has a huge amount of competition, insane amount of competition. People are competing like crazy for this. Uh, a low number, not too many people are competing. So you want to look for low numbers, again, low competition numbers with high search volume. So, so far, online business degree college is looking pretty good. And this is what you would do. You would start looking at these different keyword phrases and looking at these numbers. And I'm going to show you how another way to do it coming up. The next metric is says IAAT. What does that stand for? That stands for, again, we'll look at the question mark. It stands for in anchor and title. It tells you how many pages for which the keyword appears in both the title tag and the anchor text of a backlink. 
These are two of the most important metrics that search engines use to determine which sites should come uh, to the top of the results pages. So this number is usually going to be higher. Let, let's take this second example, online business. That's what I typed in originally. 26,000 and some change searches. That's a good number. Competition 30. That's really high. I don't like that. But look at the, the IAAT. That's 54,200. That's the number of pages that has this keyword online business in it. Um, and so the competition number is looking at this IAAT and that's where we're getting this 1 to 100 scale and that's where we're getting the 30 because competition is looking at um, it's looking at these at look at this so this number is usually larger I don't really follow this number that much because competition is looking at this number so I just pay attention to competition and that's actually a little bit more important in my opinion so the next metric is KEI and what does that stand for this is an important metric in the word tracker tool and this stands for keyword effectiveness index all these big phrases and this compares the number of times this a keyword has been searched for with competition so now the KEI is comparing the searches and the competition for you. So you should look at it yourself, but the KEI is actually looking at it and it and it gives you a number, okay? And this number is based off of the number of pages that contain the exact keyword phrase within at least one of its incoming links, okay? So the KEI figure will go up when the keyword's popularity increases. So if it's a very popular keyword, the KEI number will go up because the searches will go up, basically. The KEI figure will go down when there is more competition for the keyword. So remember I said you should compare the searches with the competition? Well, KEI is doing that. And what it's doing is, again, it's doing a 1 to 100 scale. And in this instance, instead of the lower number being good, you want to be closer to 100. So the closer to 100 you are in the KEI scale, it kind of does the work for you. And uh, if the, the competition is fairly low and the KEI is really high, then you look at the searches. Um, that's usually a, a good sign that you should, you should be marketing towards this keyword, at least if it's a keyword that's related to your topic. Okay. So what a lot of people do is they'll first they'll look at the keyword phrases. And this is what I do. I look at the keyword phrases, and if there's anything in here that I haven't seen before, I might write it down, or I just might keep, you know, keep mind of it, because it might be something that, uh, oh, that's a good idea. I never thought to write an article or do a video on that. Then what I do is I look at the searches, and the searches again by default, the searches are in order from highest to lowest when you first get here. But I do look at the KEI, and what I do is I actually click KEI, and what that does is it'll rearrange everything in order of highest to lowest and highest is KEI so now KEI is saying um, this is a hundred hundred is the highest you can get in KEI which again means good but you again have to compare it to the searches well if a KEI of a hundred means there's no competition really for this but people are searching for online business pages media if you can or you know if anybody is, has an online business and can direct this these keyword phrases to maybe a video or an article, it could help you. At least 1,700 people are looking for it, and there's no competition. So, you know, you could do a couple things and grab a couple people. You could do that for a couple of these. Now, I mean, you know, they do the numbers do get lower, and and this is where you, as the business owner, need to decide what phrases do I want to focus on. And some of them are not going to be relevant to you. Yellow pages add India online business. Maybe you could try to do an article or blog post about that or something. But, um, you know this is where you have to pick and choose. So I, what I'm doing is I'm scrolling through the KEI and now I'm going to start looking at some more legitimate numbers. So here's one, 95.19, which is really high. And this is the IAAT, which I'm not going to really pay attention to. This is competition three, which is really low. So hey, everything's looking really good. And then the monthly searches, the searches are 56,832 for online business degree college. Well, that's kind of a jackpot keyword phrase right there that's something that I would definitely focus on because it's hitting all the you know all the key components and um, and that's sort of you know that's almost exactly what you want to do you want to look for that stuff the next one below that num the numbers are going to drop so you got to kind of prepare yourself for that but it says 87 there's two pages there's three competition and it's and it's relatively low searches for online business masters so 
I would probably skip over this one. But uh, I do see free online business games. I don't. If I had something related to that, I probably would pick that one up, and so on and so forth. Online business cards does have a, a fairly hard, higher amount of um, of uh, competition, but it does have a good amount of searches. One other thing I want to co cover is if you see the little search link next to any of these, you can actually dive more in deeper by clicking any of these and, and searching. Uh, let's pick one: online business bank payments account. So I'll click search. And then it'll bring me up more results based off of that. Doesn't really, it gives you a little bit more detail, but not too much. So play around with that. But that is the free uh, Word Tracker tool. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Thanks.